Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I'm going to be inspecting my Costanza splits today. So, uh, two splits. One was the mother hive, the splits the that uh, where the split originated from. That's Costanza. Costanza. And uh, the other one is the nuke split that I made from it. Now, I haven't seen these hives for a good... Uh, let's see, probably two weeks, so I think 15, 16 days. When I last checked them, the queens had emerged. So by now, what we should see is if they have mated and the queens are in there, they should be laying, there should be eggs, uh, larvae, and cat brood already. And that will tell me if the splits are successful. If the splits aren't successful, I'm probably not going to uh, let them requeen themselves. So I probably wouldn't add brood and eggs to let them take that process all over again because it's about a 30-day process all in all and uh, I don't want to be getting into late August and not have queens in these hives so uh, our plan B is that if they're not successful I will requeen them with with new queens but hopefully we go in today and we find some nice eggs some nice larvae some nice cat brood and Costanza comes back Okay, so I'm inspecting Costanza. This is the Mama Costanza hive. So this hive I installed from a nuke last year in the spring and it promptly did nothing. Did not much all year long. And I uh, then determined in August that it was queenless. I requeened it in September and um, and what? And uh, it survived the winter. It survived the winter with in one brood box with a family of mice living down in the lower brood box. And then it swarmed on me again this year. So there's nothing going on in this, uh, in this honey super. I'll let you have a look at it here. See that? So I don't think this needs to be on. There's barely any bees up there as well. So I'll probably just remove that super and just focus on... Uh, on the core hive. I'll get rid of the bees there soon enough. There's not many bees in there to begin with. All right, so now um, what we're looking at, what we're hoping for here, hoping to find brood. Uh, I extracted two of these honey frames, so uh, hopefully they're built up again, but we don't want it to be honey bound. This top box had about four frames of brood, which by now should have hatched out. So if there's any brood left up here, that means there's a new queen laying. So again, our first priority is to make sure there's a queen in here laying eggs. If we can find the queen, wait, great. If not, if we can find enough evidence that she's laying. Bees are nice and calm, so that's always a good sign. People say that, uh, that there is a queen right hive in place. Let's see for ourselves. There's always a bee sitting right where I want to put my fingers. Why is that? All the time, every time. Guys, how am I going to get in there? squish it again, but I want to do my work here. Come on. Okay, there is a very heavy honey frame. Let's have a look at this. Wow. A lot of bees on there. A decent amount of bees. Nicely capped frame on both sides here. Just chocker block full of honey. There's got to be about, I'd say five, maybe six pounds of honey on this frame. Usually I pull out the, the medium frames, not the large frames like this for honey, but it's nice to see them full. So this is one of the brand new frames and they are filling it out. It's full of honey too. Check it out. Another beautiful honey frame. See that? I guess I should be looking a little more closely for the queen on these frames. Not likely to see her up here, but it definitely can happen. Now well, you see that they've almost got it completely filled out. Still filling it out as we go, which is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm going to try and speed up this inspection here because I am probably going to have to get into that lower brood box as well. So I'll hopefully pull out frames a little more quickly, but not negligently. That's a really important thing. You can see I haven't smoked them yet, and of course I'd like to keep it that way for as long as possible. Another honey frame. So that's three first frames of honey. This one's not quite filled in all the way, but it's they're capping it as we speak. 
So that, again, looking for the queen on here. And more important than finding the queen this time is finding sign of the queen, right? There needs to be eggs, larvae, and hopefully cap brood in here. Now, the number of bees in this hive is okay. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. This was a frame that had brood on it in the middle here. See, that was all brood. All that brood hatched out, and now they're backfilling it with honey. So again, if this top box becomes another honey-laden box, i got to take a couple more frames out and spin them, extract the honey, and give her room to lay, if we have a queen at all. So. Anyway, hopefully we'll find some brood soon. That was the reason why I left the supers on top, or a super on top, is just in case there was a laying queen in here, if she wanted to use this upper brood box for brood, then the bees could have moved all the honey from this box to the top. But you can see they're just filling this all with honey. So, so far, there's no sign of a laying queen in this hive. Keep going with the inspection. These are really behaving nicely. Getting in the middle of this brood box, this is where we have to find brood. Uh, there was brood on these frames before but it looks like it's all hatched out and they're just filling it all with honey. This is just a pure honey box, look at this. Well now let's see here, yeah, it's honey. All honey and nectar. Let's make sure we don't see the queen on one of these frames. I'll take a closer look at that side in a second here because this side is clearly all honey, capped honey. Recently capped down here, you can see the color difference between this capping and that capping. But here, there might be some capped brood down here, so I'm just going to have a closer look. No, it is all honey. It's all honey, honey. So I'm just going to pause the video now because it looks like it's all honey for the rest of these frames. I won't bore you with a completely honey inspection here, but uh, I'll have you join me maybe when I get in the bottom brood box, okay? Okay, so we're in the bottom brood box, and I like what I see here as far as this bunch up of bees. They're a lot more active and a lot louder than that upper brood box. And a lot of times I find that a nice cluster like that is an indication of a queen. So, we'll see. If we don't find a queen, or signs of a queen, in this lower brood box, then we're in trouble. And I'm looking for the queen up here. see here. Again, I didn't smoke the top brood box at all. Generally these bees are pretty good, but they're definitely a lot louder down here. And it sounds like they mean business. So, let's see what we got here. Again, I just expect to find honey on this outside frame. But we will start looking for the queen. It's a very light frame, kind of misled me. I thought it would be a heavy honey frame. And it turns out it is an empty brood frame. Go figure. You can see some queen cups here, but I highly doubt there'd be larvae in there, eggs in there, because there's no queen. At least there hasn't been. I'm going to take a look inside this. You can have a look. Maybe you see one. See the cup? Okay. Other side is just a bunch of pollen. Yeah, just pollen, honey, and nectar. Check it out. You know, some brood, some drone brood here, which random drone brood I think is never a good sign. I saw a lot of that in this hive when it went queenless. And I think uh, that has become an indicator for me that a hive is not in great shape. Again, I'm still, I'm still hoping that there's going to be a queen right in here, though, based on the activity that I see there. I mean, in this bottom brood box, there's a lot of bees, right? Top brood box, not so many. Bottom brood box, many more, so 
that's a good sign. It did hatch out around at least eight uh, frames of brood that was in here when the queen decided to go. So she left the hive in great shape as far as that goes. But she left the hive. Let's see what we got here. Okay, another frame of nothingness. All hatched out brood. Now this brood isn't hatched out, but I'm willing to bet that it's, well, there's a decent amount of brood on here. Let's have a closer look. Mostly for a queen here because I've got a queen cup swarm cell on the bottom. Let me see if that is, has anything in it. Nope. See that swarm cell there? Bees on it right now? There's nothing in that. So, I think this brood is all old brood that either has not hatched or won't hatch. It just doesn't look fresh at all. There's no other sign of eggs or larvae looking around there. So looking for the queen on here, trying to be hopeful. Trying to do a zigzag pattern while I look for her, up and down. Not trying to focus on individual bees, but trying to look for the motion and the, more or less the demeanor, the movement of the queen. Can you spot her anywhere? Okay, back in she goes. Another very light frame. You can almost tell as soon as you go to lift up the frame that there's nothing in it. And that is the case. Okay, here there's some brood. But again, I mean, as far as the dates and times work, this brood could have been here two weeks ago. So this brood should have hatched if, the, if it were belonging to the old queen. So could this be new brood from the new queen that's getting about ready to hatch? It definitely could be. But I'd like to see some eggs, and I'd like to see some larvae as well. I don't. Not on this side. Let's see the other side. Yet another very empty frame. And they're filling this with pollen and nectar. So again, not a very good sign that there's a right-leaning queen in here. You having a look at it there? So drones, doing the drone thing. In the next two frames is where I think she's either got to make it or break it. Because that's where the main cluster was, right in here. So if I had to put money on it, if there is going to be a queen, I'd say she's going to be right there. Haha, <laughs> famous last words. And I wouldn't put money on it right now because there's not much sign of a right lane queen in there. But, you know, if you work out the math, it's been, you know, around, on July 1st, the queen was gone and there was lots of brood in this box. So it's now July 27th. So that's 16 days ago. So all of the old queen's brood should have hatched, right? Am I right on that or am I wrong on that? I mean, it's such a scattered amount of brood that maybe it's just brood that was never going to hatch. And because there's no new queen in here, it hasn't been dispatched properly either. Have a look here, see what I mean? There's some brood there, look for eggs. I don't see any eggs whatsoever, have a look. Okay. A decent amount of bees in this hive. But it's Costanza. It's killing me. It is always doing the opposite of everything you'd ever expect it to do. Can't stand you. Can't but it survived you. a winter out here, so I gotta think there's some value to the genes in this hive. And that's why I'm still messing around with it. Oh, that's a heavy frame. That's good. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay, some more brood. So. And I, I did say that these are starting to be the frames where I could expect to see the queen. So not the greatest brood pattern, you see. And beside the brood, 
We have some nectar, some pollen. Not much else. So what is more likely? Is it more likely that this is scattered new brood or that it's brewed from the old queen that just hasn't been dealt with yet? Lots of drones on this frame here on this side. Holy smokes. Take a close look for the queen here. I don't believe there's any relation between the number of drones on a frame and the presence of the queen. But who knows? Okay, so this is where I said I thought she would be, right? And, uh, so that's the one B. That B wants a fight. It's not happening. Okay, let's see what we got going here. So, I mean, there is a chance the queen could be on the side of the box, but I'm not finding sign of a right in queen. And the brood that I am seeing, I think, is old brood. So it just doesn't have that new look about it. it. Certainly is not in any kind of a nice pattern, a nice laying pattern. And this frame is practically empty. Look at that! Holy smokes! It's actually ripped holes in it for some reason. Okay, so this is probably a frame that I need to replace. Look for the queen on here. Oh, I can feel the breeze of the fanning of the bees and the fingers. It's a neat feeling. As long as it's not accompanied with a sharp burning sensation. Looking for the queen on here, not seeing her. And frankly, frankly, not really hopeful that, not really, uh, not really optimistic that she's in here. I think this is a queenless hive without any prospect of requeening itself. Another nothing frame. This is a replacement for one of the frames that I brought in that I uh, extracted. I'll look at a couple more frames here, but I think I have to make a decision on uh, on requeening Costanza, which I did last year as well. Yeah, another frame that I spun out. I mean, it's been built out again, but. There's nothing going on here. Oh, sorry, please. Take a step back. Bees don't get happy when you drop them. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing there. We'll check one more frame and then that is it. This hive is queenless and uh, I have to think about requeening it. So that's hive number one. I'm going to go to the split hive now, the uh, split that I took off of this hive, which had four queen cells in it. It might be in the same boat, or at least my inspection has to cover the same ground, right? Is there a queen in there? Is she laying? If not, what do I do about it? So thanks for joining me. I'll be uh, back on the other hive in a sec.